Boom. Yes, sir, Ski. What is good, Ski? It is your boy, Ski, the low-key legend, man. What's going on? Welcome back to another episode of Call of Duty Commentary, man. Team Deathmatch, Black Ops 1, Havana, PSG, baby. Yes, sir. Using the sniper rifle this game, man. Wanted to mix things up a little bit. Um, I do remember the Black Ops 1 snipers didn't have too big of a variety to choose from man i think they had four guns and two of them actually three of them were semi-automatic rifles there's only one bolt action rifle they had and this was not it so <clears throat> playing on um a little bit of tdm man today let's talk about today man today is the 13th of july 2024 it's actually 9 46 a.m as i sit down and record this video man early bird gets that motherfucking worm you guys know how it goes but anyways i am going to a little uh, little vacation a little bit of a ret retreat for a little bit a couple days heading up north to this nice little lake house for a couple days um so that'd be good to kind of mentally reset and uh you know, hang out there and kind of just forget about uh, whatever needs to be forgotten about today, man, you know, or just in, in life in general. You know, these resets, man, vacations are necessity for a lot of people uh, for a lot of different reasons. But if you guys aren't taking vacations, um, <clears throat> it's definitely you, you're definitely missing out on some shit. You know what I mean? Even if they're small trips to small spots <clears throat> for a couple overnight days, um, they're definitely needed you know what i mean exploring is fun to some people it's not so i guess you know to each his own at the end of the day but i don't know man i, I did enjoy you know taking in the scenery i feel like as humans we're all kind of the same like generally you know i, I think we all can agree that like nature is pretty dope you know when you go outside and you like look at a sunset i think that that collectively that's like our collective minds working together i don't think there's anybody who like looks at a sunset and like that's that's fucking lame you know what i mean or like i think we all collectively have a conscious where it makes kind of sense to all of us like you see a crazy looking sunset and that's like oh yeah that is a crazy looking sunset bro like i think that you won't you know what i mean so i don't uh I don't know where I was getting at, man. I'm actually fucking gone. Lost. Forgot what I was talking about. That's the beauty of commentaries, man. You sit back, relax, do whatever the fuck you want behind the mic. I picked up a Fomas Gold, bro. Don't know what... you should. I should not be having this gun on me right now, bro. Uh, even though it is the best gun, arguably, in Black Ops 1, this is um, not the gun for me. It never was. I hated the FOMAS, if I'm going to keep it an uh, honest buck, which it wasn't even in my top five guns that I've used, you know what I mean? Never used this gun like that, and I am proud to say that because this was probably 50% of the people who played this game, this was their favorite gun. Um, when you look at their combat record, probably not their actual favorite, but when you look at their record and what gun they got the most kills with online, the FOMAS was probably half you know, half of the people got kills with the FOMA. I had a buddy whose his favorite weapon was the ballistic knife. It was the most insane shit ever, bro. He had like 11,000 kills running around with the fucking ballistic knife in search and destroy. Shout out Stabby, bro. His name was Stabby. And he just ran around, bro. BO1, search and destroy. We'd be like six motherfuckers deep, bro. This is like prime Black Ops 1 running around in search he would be i mean i'd still have my gun me and my boys would still have our gun but dude he'd fuck shit up man i i might want to get some gameplay with the ballistic knife in here but i <laughs> i tried to do what he did bro and i couldn't do it man i was not as good as he was for sure he you could tell like he trained on that shit bro he knew what he was that was not his first rodeo with the ballistic knife motherfucker got around with the shit um <clears throat> but yeah as i said man vacations take them you know what I mean? Even if there's slight shit, even if it's popping out the house and doing some shit, um, sightseeing, you know, if you enjoy that shit, dude, take a fucking, take some time off and go in vacation a little bit. You know what I mean? You don't got to go to fucking, you know, California or fucking, you know, New York or nothing crazy, but go, you know, an hour south or an hour north and fucking see some shit every once in a while. You know what I mean? I think that that is healthy for the human 
uh, body to, you know, to be able to go out and experience different things. You know what I mean? I think a lot of people are accustomed to the same kind of uh, rotation in life. Um, so to mix that up, you know, it doesn't even matter what it is, really, where it is. Just as long as you throw in some some pizzazz into your fucking, you know, your life every once in a while, switch things up, um, you know, you'll probably will end up having a healthier mental health. Uh, I'm not going to say that like I'm a doctor or a fucking therapist or anything because I'm not. And it, it might not. It might not even help you. You might want to go out there and die, bro. I don't know how do you guys, is, you know, how your guys' minds are set up. But um, like I said, if we're thinking collectively with everybody, I would assume that, oh, my God, I can't believe you guys are looking at that. Ooh, yeah, that was tough. That was a tough one to watch. Uh, sorry, y'all had to see that. Got the little care package, though. I'm going to throw that down with the RCXD. But, yeah, man, um, slight vacations. They are, they can do wonders. You know what I mean? And uh, swimming. If you guys don't know how to swim, bro, I would suggest you try to change that. It's not very hard to swim, I don't think. Uh, but don't. I guess if you put yourself in spots where you don't really need to swim, you don't need to know how to swim. But if you're ever put in a situation where you need to know how to swim and you don't know how to swim, you can die. You know what I mean? So just to avoid that whole thing, of even the odds of you getting put in a situation where you have to swim and you can't are very slim. The odds are never zero. So, I mean, you could try your hardest to avoid the water as much as you possibly can. And that might work, but shit one one day you might get caught slipping and be on a boat with your homies or something you know what i mean fuck it i'm not swimming i'm on a boat boom something happens you fall in and now you got a panic swim bro like as long as you can panic swim that's okay you don't need to know how to fully fucking swim just like panic swim and keep yourself afloat you know because that's about as far as i can swim and that's about as far as you need to swim to survive you know what i mean you ain't gotta sit there for hours just keeping yourself afloat this ain't the fucking titanic something happens like the titanic bro we're all dead you know what I mean? I'm not trying to, oh, I'm going to try to survive this shit. Nah, bro. Like, I'm going. I'm going. Fuck that. Love you guys. It's been your boy, Low Key Legend. I'll see y'all very shortly for a brand new one. Eight and three shitter ass gameplay. Get the shit out of my face. I'll see y'all tomorrow for a brand new one. I'm out of here, guys. Have a blessed rest of your day. Adios.